we could play on top of Timbuktu as long as there's like 100 people there, you know, we're happy. I don't know what number US tour this is now, but we've done quite a few and this one certainly feels like things are on a steady incline. There's more bodies in the room, it feels exciting. It's festivals, theatres, small venues, acoustic radio shows, we're really like, we're really whoring ourselves out on this one. All the shows have been amazing, we've been very fortunate. We treat kind of every show as if it's, you know, as if we're headlining Glastonbury, to be honest, apart from the acoustic ones, which is obviously just a stripped down version. But I prefer playing the bigger ones because the smaller shows, you can see everyone's facial expressions and that you can see everyone like talking and whether they're really enjoying that song or whatever. And then that, you start gets a bit, starts to get a bit nervy. The second album, we kind of did a more synthier album than our first, which was scrappy, guitar-y kind of stuff. And then this album it was really just like when Greek tragedy came around between us, the label, the producer, everyone, we all kind of really liked how that sounded. So we figured that that song was going to kind of lead the pack in terms of sonics. Certainly from the writing perspective, you know, we're going to have to kind of come in from a slightly different angle on the next album. To get a full, full body of work that you're extremely proud of, I think, kind of can take a year, two years. And if you've got like a couple of good songs, then why not just put them out straight away? You know, I don't think we're gonna necessarily drop an album next year or the year after. We might do like a series of EPs or just put it up on the internet. If people like it, then they like it. Hey.